Shalom, everybody. Rabbi Edelstein here with another installment of Rabbi E in 3, brought to you by Moor DC. You can find us at MORDC.com or on Facebook. Learn about our programs, and we're still taking applications for the Maimonides Jewish Leaders Fellowship, an amazing 10-week seminar on Jewish ideas on the campus of George Washington University. Tonight's video is dedicated by a great friend of Moor DC and the work we do, Mrs. Bonnie Lazar, in memory of her dear departed sister, Connie Spear Birnbaum, on the anniversary of her passing. And I sincerely wish that uh, the words we share together tonight should not only hopefully inspire us, but be an elevation for her neshama, for her soul. The truth is, those words are quite appropriate for us, all of us, because there's no day in the Jewish year that has the power to elevate and purify our souls like Yom Kippur, and we're coming into Yom Kippur. I call this video, Fast, Pray, and Be Merry. And maybe people hear the joke in there, or they think it's a joke, and they understand the first two thirds, fast, sure, we have to fast, and it's very important. The effect of the day is connected to the fasting, because by doing that, we're removing ourselves from the physical side of our being to a very great extent. We're elevating ourselves to the somewhat to the purity of the angels on Yom Kippur. That's fasting. Praying, of course, we're in... Synagogue a lot, all of Yom Kippur almost, praying beautiful prayers, heartfelt prayers. But be merry? The third part? Yes, absolutely. There's no greater day of happiness, inward happiness, if you think about it, than Yom Kippur. What could be better than having the slate wiped clean, than the muck, spiritually speaking, that's gotten on ourselves and that's interfered with our psychological lives and emotional lives and relationships with ourselves, with our fellow men, and with God, all that muck is gone, cleansed, purified. And the errors, the straying, and the carelessness, and the transgressions, and the sins, and there are many names for those different things that we go through on Yom Kippur, they're forgiven, they're forgotten by Avinu Malkeinu, our Father, our King, with the great, incredible astounding gift of Yom Kippur. There's no greater gift than Yom Kippur, an incredibly beautiful day. Every sin we do, every transgression, interferes with our connection to God and our connection with our fellow man, if, there, if it's an interpersonal transgression, and with ourselves, our connection to our deepest self. And Yom Kippur rectifies, elevates all of that. As it says in the Torah, for through this day, He, Hashem, will atone for you to cleanse you from all your sins. Lifnei Hashem, before Hashem, you will be cleansed. And the commentaries say beautifully, before Hashem, Lifnei Hashem, there's no day in the year when we're closer to Hashem than Yom Kippur. And in fact, the cleansing and the purification, the mystic says, because there's no barrier between our neshama, our soul, and God on Yom Kippur. We're so close. We're so close. Purity is automatic if you're connected that closely to Hashem, who's the source of all purity. It's a beautiful day, and it's on Shabbos this year, which adds to a special elevating quality to it. Another great gift. The other great gift. Well, the Torah is a great gift as well. A lot of great gifts God gave us, but Yom Kippur Shabbos have a beautiful, meaningful Yom Kippur to restore your purity, your relationships. Have a wonderful Shabbos, and I look forward to seeing you purified next week.